name is John and today I wanted to cover another way to find angles with using using the TorchMate CAD CAM software that I've discovered. Um, previously in a different tutorial I showed this protractor that I had created and I used this to line it up and, and find angles and um, this other option that I found is a little more accurate um, but it does have some drawbacks to it that uh, I have not been able to find a workaround for yet. That may be just a problem on my end as I'm learning the software myself. Um, if you happen to have ways of measuring angles that I am not aware of, please uh, drop me a note in the, you know, in the uh, comments below and I'd like to learn them myself. However, um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and create some oddball shape with a bunch of random angles in it and what I want to do is just uh, come and try to measure these utilizing this node edit option um, that I've seen in the past but I've never taken the time to sit down and try to figure it out and I have been spending some time utilizing this tool and trying to find out what you can and can't do with it and share that with you today so if I have this object and I want to measure um, now I, again uh, I don't believe this is in I don't believe it matters as if, if the object is in polygon or poly arc mode. But if I double click on this, you'll bring open this node edit option. And under the node, epsi, node edit option, you have absolute mode and relative mode. Make sure you select relative. If you select absolute, it's going to measure everything from your point of origin, which is going to be 0.00 on your table, in my case down here. Um, but in relative mode, it's going to do it on point A you have to select two nodes and it's the first node is going to be the point of origin and the second one is going to be the one that you're trying to find the angle for and, and the distance in, the, in this case so on this right hand side under the node edit tool you'll select polar angle and distance and what I'm going to do is you have to select node A which is going, going to be your origin and then node B and notice that it says the distance is 6.44 inches and 12.87 uh, is the angle so if I want to prove that I can go ahead and create a box and let's just say 12.87 and if I move this down you can see that it's the exact angle now if I double click on my object again and I want to measure the next angle I can select point A and then I can come down and select point B and it says it's negative 48 48 so let's go ahead and prove that again. Let's just draw ourselves a box. Negative 48.48. And if I move this over, it'll work just fine. Now there are a couple of things that I've discovered you cannot do um, with this tool. You'll notice that when I did this, these two samples here, that I selected a node immediately adjacent to the previous node that I was trying to find the angle for. If I want to find the angle between my origin node, which will, for instance, be this one, and then I want to go to a non-adjacent node, such as this one over here, it'll say negative 48, 48 degrees. Well, if you remember, that was our previous option. Um, so what it appears to do, this utility at least, as far as I've been able to find out, is that it'll measure the angle from the previous adjacent node in the direction that you're selecting. So again, a negative 48, 48, because it's measuring from the previous node. And there is one other problem that I've discovered, and this may be just uh, me not knowing how to use, utilize the utility correctly, and, and it's something I'll have to continue to work with. But if I come and try to select a node, and then select another node, you'll notice this, this says 172.23, which doesn't seem right. It's almost 90 degrees from it. Um, so 172.23. So let's just give it a test. I know it's not going to work, but let's do it anyway. 172.23. You'll notice that it, um, yes, the 172.23 is this angle, which is not this one. Um, but it, did, you know, it just didn't work, and I don't even know what this this lines up to. Um, I haven't found any angles that this will line up to, and it's I don't know, understand why 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 it will do what it does. However, if I have problems like that, what I will do is I'll double click on the node, I'll right click on my origin node, and I will select this option on the right. Um, 
can't remember what that option is called so you have to forgive me for, for that but I'll select that option which is basically in my opinion resetting the origin node and now if I come down and click on this you'll notice it'll say 81.96 degrees hey that sounds right so let's do the 81.96 uh, I think it said a negative negative 81.96 and you notice that, that that lines up. So if you ever have a problem where you're trying to measure point A to point B and things don't quite work out like it is like it is now and it seems to be when I rotate the direction that I'm trying to uh, that's what it is. I just I just realized that if, um, if I'm trying to rotate the direction that I'm of the node that I'm measuring for instance first time I, I went from left to right or clockwise second time I went counterclockwise and it doesn't like that but if I double click on this you'll notice the direction arrow it's really hard to see is pointing counterclockwise well if I select this node right click I can change that's changing the direction and um, that's that's what it's allowing you to measure so um, if I want to find out okay so this is we're going to do a trick with the angle pointed in the clockwise direction if I come and try to find out what this point is, you notice it says negative 118.86 degrees. I believe that's going to be the angle from the previous node from the direction we came from. So 118.86. Let me go, let me just try to prove that theory. Negative 118.86. And um, one thing you have to realize is that I discover this stuff all the time, and it's just by messing around with it. Um, and that's exactly what it's doing. So depending on the direction that you want to measure, um, you need to make sure that your, uh, if you want to measure clockwise, make sure you're pointed clockwise with that utility. If you want to measure counterclockwise, come and do the counter, switch your direction and you can do counterclockwise. And just to prove that point of origin, you don't need to know what, uh, you don't need to necessarily set this as a point of origin. If you just want to know going counterclockwise what your pre what your angle and distance is from the previous node, you can just come and select it. It says 7.82 degrees and 2 inches. Seven point eight two, and I can't remember if that had a negative or not. I guess not. So seven point eight two. Notice that that lines up perfectly. So that's how you have to utilize this utility. If you get a funny result, um, make sure that your direction, double click on this, make sure that your direction arrow is pointed in the right direction. If you want to measure, just make sure that you have your direction going correctly, counterclockwise or clockwise. Um, so if I want to know what my distance is from this node to this node, um, just make sure you know where you came from. And that will work. Just remember that it's only going to give you the relative um, information from the node adjacent to the node that you're measuring. So if I want this one, and because I'm pointed uh, in the clockwise direction, it's only going to give me the angle from the previously adjacent node from where we came from, being 118.86 degrees, and the distance from there. If I select that one, it'll, it'll give me the uh, relative information from the node adjacent to that one. Now if you had a, about a million nodes in this thing you'd probably want to go in uh, up to their range and simplify and um, handle it that way. However, uh, there are some limitations to this utility as I've explained, at least as far as I've been able to learn how to use the tool. But I thought it was important to share this because um, it's more accurate than the protractor that I shared previously and um, you don't have to import this file and keep it around and it's it's a quicker way I believe to uh, get an exact angle and distance for that matter from an adjacent node. I hope you have found this useful and thank you for watching.